This is My Dot Any Cars, the show where we talk everything that you need to know about cars. Today we're here at Toyota and we are taking out the brand new Toyota GR86. So, because it is a sports car, let's get ready, get set, and let's GR. Now let's get into the motoring news. Hyundai unveils off-road ready Santa Fe XRT concept. Just when you thought it couldn't get more boxy and rugged in aesthetics, Hyundai has now introduced a hardcore off-road version of their Santa Fe dubbed the XRT. The existing S XRT trim level from Hyundai found in models like the Santa Fe, Tucson, Palisade and Santa Cruz offers a more rugged appearance than their standard counterparts. However, the Santa Fe XRT concept goes beyond mere visual tweaks. While exact modifications aren't detailed, noticeable changes include a raised ride height, chunky BF Goodrich all-terrain tires, and improved approach and departure angles due to underbody adjustments. The concept is equipped with various additions, such as a sturdy roof rack with a cargo carrier, a spare tire, a tailgate ladder, and cargo boxes resembling those on the Land Rover Defender. Now, although the interior of the Santa Fe XRT concept isn't revealed, the standard Santa Fe boasts light-colored seat upholstery, creating an open feel. Premium materials are used throughout the cabin, providing it with an air of luxury. The vehicle is also packed with modern comforts and advanced connected technology, including a curved display housing, a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, and a touchscreen infotainment system. Getting into our next story, Shumi's Grand Prix winning Ferrari F2001B going under the hammer. In what was the modern day zenith of Ferrari, Michael Schumacher's iconic F2001B is looking for a new home and will be auctioned off next week. Deep pocketed investors and collectors alike have an exclusive opportunity between August 16 and August 19. R.M. Sosby's flagship Monterey auction will be auctioning Michael Schumacher's Grand Prix winning Ferrari F2001B for what can be guessed as an inconceivable sum of money. The model, which not only bears racing pedigree, also managed to emerge victorious at the 2002 Australian Grand Prix in the midst of Ferrari's early millennium zenith with the Schumacher behind the wheel. South African Rory Bryan with his pencil bringing the model to life and John Todd dictating orders. Specifically with chassis 215, the model stands as one of the new Formula One chassis consistently claimed podium positions throughout its competitive journey. That's it for the motoring news, but stick around. After the break, we take the Toyota GR86 for a spin. The roads may challenge us in many forms, many shapes, but they are truly made for one thing only. Going forward. With complete protection from shell advance, take on all that lies ahead. Welcome back to My Dot Any Cars with me, your favorite passenger princess, Diana Master. So today we are here at Toyota, like I briefly mentioned earlier, and we are talking about the GR86, and I'm joined by Dear Dad. How are you doing today? Good, good, Diana. You're good? Yes. All right. So, of course, the Toyota, this is the Toyota version of the Subaru BRZ, if I am correct. Yes, yes. Yes. And also, you may see that it says GR86. GR86, exactly. So GR basically stands for Gazoo racing which is Toyota's racing division and Toyota is trying to brand all of its performance cars 
SGR. Yes, yes. Right? That's, that's what right. we do. That's what you yes, do. Yes, All right. Yes. So, of course, we are talking about the exterior. Let's start with the lights. Okay. So, the GR comes with standard LED headlights. Mm -hmm. If we can quickly do a walk around, yes. you, you can look at the room. It comes with an 18 inch low profile room. Mm -hmm. um, what it also comes with is like the um, lane, lane keep assist. assist cameras is featured in the roof of the car so it helps with cars um, lane crossing mm -hmm. yes 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 so it will sense the cars uh, is coming veering from, off yes, 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 okay yes, yes, yes. so it will sense either pavement or mm -hmm. a solar and line will warn you. yes 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 okay yes. so awesome. that is something on which is nice and of course because this is a sportier version yeah. it is a two-door no it's but a four-seater but a four-seater it's yes, a two-door yes, yes but a four seater. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, awesome. And then of course, as we continue to walk around the car, we get here yes. to the back. Now, one thing I did notice about the back is to open yes, the yes, boot, yes. it's just- By pressing that. Just or, pressing that yes. and then you open. Yes, yes, yes. You also have the option on your key to okay. open the uh, boot mm -hmm. and then it's standard look. There's a tw twin exhaust system, mm -hmm. a brake light also, oh, reverse key. The reverse light is in the center of the mm -hmm. uh, bumper, and then your brake lights also LED all around. Yeah, all around. Yes. So that's pretty much all we can talk about about oh, the exterior. The exterior yes. Yeah, but I I do have to mention, of course, we do have the branding right here. Yes. Beautiful black and red GR86. Yeah. The car itself is silver. I like the fact that the lights yeah black and red match yes. the gr86 the, the colors yes the yes, colors yes. that is actually really really cool so, yeah so now we are going to have to talk about the interior yes, yes of the car so we will get into that shortly but for now we'll take a quick ad break and return as we get into the car to see you know just how much we can fit in this yeah. very <laughs> compact very sexy looking piece yeah. stick around Five important facts about Shell Helix. One, Shell was the first to develop the technology that produces oil from natural gas. Two, oil made from natural gas is pure. Three, it's specially formulated not to break down even under the most extreme temperature conditions. Four, it gives you improved fuel economy. And five, Shell Helix is the only motor oil used, trusted and recommended by Scuderia Ferrari. Now we do have to talk about the interior of this sports car. And because I did say it's a sports car, it is quite small at yeah. the back. It is a two-door, but four-seater. There's not really a lot of space at the back because, again, it is a racing car. You're yes, not really yes. looking to carry cargo and a lot of people in here. But um, first thing that I noticed is, of course, the touchscreen display right here. So tell us about that. So the audio, it comes with the auto um, Apple, Apple CarPlay. CarPlay. Android, Android option mm -hmm. and then all your features like Bluetooth um, connection mm -hmm. it has um, USB ports also mm -hmm. but um, mostly nowadays we're just working through the um, Bluetooth options yes yes so that is available and then um, other options that we can look at it's um, car comes with a two uh, option of either partial or partial uh, suede partial leather seating mm -hmm. and then also other options that we can look at is the automatic option it actually comes in two versions the manual option and then the automatic option mm -hmm. automatic option has the pedal shift gearing option and then the um, manual option is the normal stick it's the normal stick yes okay yes. so here we just of course have our radio media yes you can connect your phone like we did mention earlier yes. your apps and all of that we do have our climate control right here yes. in the center everything there okay let's talk about the steering wheel because they are you can control quite a bit 
from the yes, steering wheel. Yes, we have a lot of features on the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, this car, is, like I said, um, has all the features. It has the lane keep assist. Mm -hmm. It has um, elemented slip diff. And then it also has um, your, your, your cruise control, which yes. is standard. Yeah. So that is part of the... Uh, knobs or the buttons on the on the, on the steering on the control steering yes, and yes, of yes. course because Toyota seems to be very proud yeah, of the their stitching. GR yeah. we do have the GR logo yes, right yes, yes. there so the stitching is throughout mm. it comes uh, throughout on the partial leather partial suede seating throughout through the steering wheel and through the door panels also mm -hmm. yes so one thing that our viewers have to absolutely see is this car is it does have a push to start button yes but something very very cool is the graphics that pop up when you turn on the car and we have to have to see that so if you will allow me as the passenger princess to do the honors oh so we get the gr logo right there oh my goodness this is really cool it, it, it gives me the full vibe of I'm a race car driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so. I think that is something that Toyota is, you know, very proud of, that especially is, their performance yeah. cars. On all our GR models, yeah, we're very proud of You're very proud of your <laughs> GR models. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Now, um, we do have to take the car out for a test drive but um, before we do that I think that is all we can talk about about the interior of course we do have our cup holders right here does this have wireless charging no can no, I wireless this, charge my this, phone? this option does not have a wireless charger mm -hmm. yeah but um, I think it does have a okay, we do have USB yes, USB and then uh, your aux ports but that there's no additional charging point basically okay yes but that's about it but like i did say before it's a this is a car. racing car it's yeah. a sports car we're not looking it's not a family car yeah yeah so we're not looking for the full-size family car features and i think for a sports car it's doing the job yeah so you have your different modes also within the car itself mm -hmm. you have your sports mode you have your track track mode you have your snow, which is not featured in Namibia, in Namibia. <laughs> but it's it's standard as part of the options mm -hmm. available. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. All right, but stick around as we take this beast for a test drive. Who knows? Maybe Passenger Princess gets to race. Stick okay. around. <laughs> It is time for us to get ready, get set, and GR. <laughs> we are taking out the Toyota GR86 for a test drive. Unfortunately, there are no racetracks where we are at currently so that we can test out the maximum performance of this baby. But we are going to try our best to stick to, you know, traffic rules. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> because we are still driving around in town. Okay, so, of course, let's talk about the engine. Engine um, on the GR is a 2.4 normal aspirated engine. Kilowatts on this is 174 kilowatts, 
and 250 newton meters torque. Okay. Um, so it's a non-turbo but very powerful engine. Very powerful yes. engine. I mean, and it is made for speed. Yes, yes. It's yes. a car that's definitely made for speed. It goes zero to 100 in how many seconds? Uh, GR86. It goes from zero to 100 in 6.8 seconds, and it has a top speed of 216 kilometers per hour. Again, because it is a sports car, we're not really expecting it to be doing the most when it comes to saving fuel. But please do tell us about the fuel consumption of the car. Fuel consumption on the automatic option is uh, around 8.8. Ooh, let's just listen to that for, <laughs> for a minute. Let's just listen to that sound. That excites me. <laughs> so it's 8.8 .8, um, liters per 100 kilometers on the automatic. Uh, on the manual, it's around 9.6 because your manual uh, does give a better consumption because you're operating the gear. Okay, yes. I see. Okay, and talk to us about the different modes on the car. Uh, the have... different modes that we have mm -hmm. is you have your normal mode and then you have your drive or your sport mode mm -hmm. and then your track mode. And then you have your track mode. Yes, yes, so yes. I noticed track mode um, actually turns off traction control. And when you go into track mode, you get a cooler display because then yes, it yes, gives yes. you like a race car. Yes. You'll be, as the driver, you'll be in control of handling the vehicle. Mm -hmm. But it is built to handle well because you won't have any issues mm -hmm. to be able to handle the car. Yeah. Because of the suspension, that how it's built, it handles very well, yeah. It handles very well. With the track mode, again, you actually do get a lap timer on the display. It's true, yeah. Which is something very cool because I would say it's cool, but at the same time, it's not really a little too safe because people do tend to get carried away. Mm -hmm. But please do not be racing this car around in the, in the streets of Fintuk <laughs> because we do have to adhere to traffic regulations and traffic safety. Okay, we did briefly mention about the cameras and yeah, so tell us about the camera system. Do we have 360 degree cameras? Do we have reverse cameras? We have a reverse camera, but no 360 camera. Mm -hmm. um, it has the, like I mentioned earlier, the lane keep assist mm -hmm. or rear, um, cross traffic alert uh, also available. And um, yeah, like I said, this car, the top speed on this car, if I forgot to mention that, is 216 kilometers Ooh. per hour. Wow. And we weren't even going that fast, but yes. the sound it made got me really, yes. really, really excited. Here on the gauge cluster though, just to mention a few things, we do have our speed right there in the middle. On the right side, we do have our temperature and all of that. And then on the left, we do have our driving mode. So right now, driver assist is letting us know that it is on. Yes, yes, yes. So you have your, what's on now currently is your lane, de lane departure. Mm -hmm. So should we go over a solid line, it will alert us and push us back. But unfortunately, because of some of our yes. roads, the lines yes. aren't really clear. So the car won't really be able to take us back. Yeah. Does it have the capability of basically forcing the car back into the lane? It will. It will. It definitely will. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Will. All right. So... Now that we've spoken about all the features and all the amazing cool things this baby can do, how much are we looking at? Price-wise on the GR, it's um, $795,000. $795, small, small change. Yeah. You won't, even, you won't even feel it in your pocket. That's <laughs> yeah, true. For all the features that this car does have, let's talk about the service plan and the warranty plans. Service plan is four services covered up to 60,000 kilometers. It has uh, intervals of uh, 15,000 and um, you can either service the car on a annual basis or on the kilometer basis of 15,000. Mm, yes. I see, so that's about it. Yes. Anything else, any last remarks, anything we forgot to mention about the car? I would <laughs> say just to come experience it, we still have this one available for sale. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the Take only way to spin. the only way to experience it or 
talk about it further is try to experience it's it. It's just yeah. by driving it. Yes, yes, yes. Now, as we are driving off, we do need to hear that powerful engine sound yes, one yes, more yes. time. We so, will. let's do this. Pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. I love the sound. I don't think I mentioned it enough. <laughs> so can we turn off the, can we turn on the track mode just so we can see the timer? Yes, the lap timer. Quickly. It's now on track. Just want to quickly. Okay, so now there it's we go. sports mode. And track is on. There we go. We are ready to go. Like I did mention, the minute you put it in sports mode, we do get a cooler display. And the different sound. Yeah. And the different sound. It rolls a little louder. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So, and as you, you it gears by itself, it sounds totally different you see as you mentioned the traction is now off yes because of the track mode being yes. activated yeah awesome you see the lanes so the minute we veer off a lane yes, we get yes, a warning yes, yes. That we're veering off course. Yes. But some of our lanes are very. Yeah, our lines are not really clear. Clear. But you did see that it does. It does want alert you. Yeah. yeah. That you are veering off track. Yes. Basically, since we are talking about a sports car, the best way to put it is you're veering off track, That's so it. come back in your lane. Toyota said stay in your lane. Uh. <laughs> The red or the yellow line should alert you. Okay, like now, lane departure. Uh -huh. And it even notifies which lane. Yes, yes, yes. To which lane you're veering off course to. Nice. So, I mean, we still have safety features. That's nice. A lot yeah. of safety features. So, you can get your need for speed on safely with the Toyota. All right, so that is it for the Toyota GR86. I do have to say though, if you want this car, you need to drive it. You absolutely have to drive it so you can experience it in all its glory. Yeah, yeah. Stick around, all my dot and cars coming up after the break. Welcome, Jelle. My name is Brian Munango, and I can see you as an for Goi Kola. Donderdagse sportstrijd nog. Einde van hierdie program sal ek ken hoe om vriends te vraag. Is jy maar plaat? Is jy by? Le jou. Ek vraag dit jy my kool. Is dit nou onderbruk? Leen geskakkel. We zien jullie weer vrijdag volgende week. Goeie koor! Goeie koor! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's episode of My.NE Cars. We got to take the Toyota GR86 out for a ride. Best thing about this car is definitely the sound it makes once you put on that track mode. I have to say, I enjoyed and loved every minute of the ride. Personally, for me, the favorite was the sound. The sound this baby makes. You just have to experience it for yourself. That is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me, your favorite passenger princess, Diana Master, on another exciting episode of My.Any Cars. You can catch My.Any Cars every Thursday on DSTV channel 285 and GoTV channel 25 at 9 p.m. On that note, it's all my love, all my light, and... Ciao.